Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a wear test slash first impression on this Sonia Kashuk Satin Matte Foundation. I got this on Black Friday. I think it was $12.99 at Target. I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving and your Black Friday because I know I did. And I will be doing a video on everything that I purchased um, probably in my next video. So, like, comment, subscribe below if you would like to see this video, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. This packaging is really pretty, um, and then just take it off, and, oh, accidentally took off the pump. I tried this because my favorite beauty, beauty vlogger, Casey Holmes, really likes this for a drugstore foundation, and if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I've been trying to find a good drugstore foundation that keeps me matte throughout the day, so... This is in the shade Cream 03. Um, I already prepped my face and put on some moisturizer, put on, I don't even know. It's an oily to combination skincare set by Clinique that I already did with my face. And then I also already primed my face with this Estee Lauder Universal Smoothing Primer. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this with a beauty blender. This is what it looks like. Um, It's not too liquidy, but it's also not super thick. So it's already looking good. I'm not sure how much product I'll have to apply, but it has an interesting smell to it. I can't quite put my finger on it. It almost smells like baby powder. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. Um, it did cover pretty good, and it looks really pretty on the skin. I think it's going to look really good after I get the rest of my makeup done. And also the shade matches me pretty well. It's a little dark, but I think that will be okay after I conceal and do all that. So let me go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Hey guys, so I'm done with my makeup now. Um, I would say it looks really nice. Um, hopefully it holds up during work and I will be back to give you guys an update soon. Okay guys, so it is about 2 o'clock right now, so it's been on for 4 hours so far, halfway through my work day. Um, it hasn't broken up yet, it's still looking pretty good. So, so far so good on this foundation and I will be doing another update when I get off, which will probably be around 9 o'clock and that'll be the real test because nights are always busier and I always get sweatier and grosser, so we'll see if this can hold up. Hey guys, so this is my last update. Um, I'm going to say overall I really like this foundation because it stayed put pretty much throughout the whole day. I have not blotted, I have not put on more powder, and I know this lighting is like really bad right now, so I'm going to shine like a wider light just so you can see like it's really not oily that much. It is a little bit but not to the point where it looks bad. I don't know like where to hold it though it would be good. So I'm so sorry, this is so ghetto. But as you can see, it is worn very good throughout the day. Like, and let's see, what time is it? It is 10.30. I've had this on 13 hours now, pretty much. I can put on some more powder just to show you what it would look like. So this is what it looks like after I put some more of my ELF HD setting powder on. I would honestly say this wore really well throughout the day. Um, again, it was the Sonia Kashuk Satin Matte Foundation and it is $12.99 I believe at Target. So if you have oily skin, I would definitely check it out. Um, I used my Estee Lauder Universal Smoothing Primer and then I used my regular Tarte Shape Tape Maybelline Fit Me and my Elf HD Setting Powder. Here's another kind of white light look after the powder and pretty much held out throughout the day. Um, the only thing I think what I would do differently is add a little bit more. I think this coverage is buildable so tomorrow I might try this out again and add a little bit more coverage down in here, but also my acne is just a little bad right now, so 
But again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am so sorry about the lighting again. It is dark right now, so I don't really, I normally rely a lot on natural light. But if you liked this video, like, comment, subscribe below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!